acting director of ICE was here today as well. Political special Sean Boyd, the only TV reporter to sit down with him. And Sean, what did he share with you today? You know, acting director Matt Albans told me the crisis at the border is impacting cities like Aurora, too. He says more than 800,000 people have crossed the border illegally so far this year. So many they have run out of room for them at the border and are now shipping them to detention facilities like this while they await their court hearings. The visit from the head of ICE comes one week after protesters stormed the Aurora detention facility, replacing the American flag with the Mexican one. Fairly despicable, frankly. Acting Director of Immigration and Customs Matt Albin says he came here to provide moral support for agents who he says don't deserve this. We are executing these same laws today as we were back in 1996. And it's unfortunate that individuals that don't agree with the laws are protesting our personnel. If they don't like the laws, go to their congressman, go to their senator, go to Capitol Hill. I've been to that facility. It's a humane facility. These individuals are kept in, in a humane environment. It's safe. It's clean. It's sanitary. Albin says Congress, not ICE, chose to move toward private detention facilities like this. He also pushed back on reports of raids in cities like Denver last weekend. Well, to me, that's a loaded word that sets up there's some sort of indiscriminate enforcement actions. He says the enforcement was aimed at people who were released while their asylum cases were pending, didn't show for court, and had a warrant out for their arrest. No other law enforcement agency in the country is being asked to ignore lawfully issued warrants except for this one. Albin says the crush of people at the border is putting public safety at risk and he called the Democratic presidential candidates push to decriminalize border crossings insane. If you think we have a surge of the border now, wait to see what happens if they decriminalize it. Now, Albert says the situation at the border, along with the lack of resources for, from Congress, have forced him to divert agents from going after violent criminals in the country illegally. ICE has not said how many of the people housed here are accused of crimes and how many are seeking asylum, but Congressman Jason Crow said today 800 of the 1,300 people here are refugees. Live in Aurora, Sean Boyd covering Colorado First. All right, Sean.